Hey guys, welcome. My name is Rans, and today you can win yourself in a piece of original collectible trading card game art directly from the game's designer themselves. Let's take a look at it in the episode proper. So we are going to have a very special giveaway of some original hand-painted collectible card game art that was actually used on a card for one of the biggest gaming franchises the world has ever known. And that piece of art is going to come directly from that designer's collection themselves. But before we get there, just a little housekeeping in case this is your first time joining us on this channel or podcast feed. So my name is Rands and this is the channel where you're going to find the Booster Pack podcast by CCG History. Now that is the show where I unwrap the stories and crack the mysteries of collectible games each and every episode. And I do that by welcoming on a guest who has worked on a collectible card game or multiple collectible card games throughout their career. And they share never before told behind the scenes stories about the creations of those games. It is a fascinating look into the past of collectible card games and sometimes the present. If you are a fan of collectible card games throughout your lifetime, take a look back over our back catalogue and I'm sure you'll find a game that has meant something to you over that time. We've talked about everything from Legend of the Five Rings to Vampire the Eternal Struggle, even to the older Cypher Star Wars CCG. So I encourage you to go back and take a look if this is something that interests you. Also on this channel, you're going to find the bonus episodes of that very podcast called The Rare Slot. And on those shows, it's a little bit more topic driven. We can talk about a more contemporary topic or even a piece of history that wouldn't really fit in the normal show with a special guest who is either an expert or somebody who with a ton of great knowledge in that topic or perhaps even somebody with an amazing story to tell. We've learned about lost Transformers CCGs from the 90s. We've learned about the history of the first ever collectible card game magazine. And we've even discussed this new era of trading card games that have involved Kickstarter and crowdfunding and all that sort of stuff. So take a look. Those episodes are super casual and easily accessible and definitely worth a look as well. Now, let's get to the fun stuff, the free stuff. That's where we're going to give away a hand-painted piece of collectible card game art. And the reason we're doing that today is because we're actually introducing a brand new type of episode to this channel or podcast feed. That is called the Booster Pack Singles. Now on singles episodes, it's basically just me talking to the microphone or the camera like you're experiencing right now. And it can be about anything, whether that's a review of a game I want to give or whether that is a mailbag episode, which we might do in the future. And these episodes are going to pop up every now and then. There's no consistency to them. They're completely casual and I can't wait to share them. So if you have any questions or have anything you want to hear talked about on these sort of special episodes, let us know down the line as well. You can contact us via our social media or also the Booster Pack podcast email address, which will all be in the description. But we're going to go over that when I give you the details of this giveaway. And without further ado, let's get to that. Now, this giveaway, it's super special because it actually is care of our most recent guest, Luke Peter Schmidt. Now, if you don't know the name Luke Peter Schmidt, he is an iconic game designer who has been designing games for almost 30 years in the hobby game space. He created a ton of board games, but most iconically, he created the Bakugan toy game to which he has won Toy of the Year awards. It is absolutely amazing the work he's done on that. But recently he joined us because he started his career designing collectible card games for a company called FPG. Games like the Guardian CCG and Dark Age CCG. And in our most recent episode, we go through the history of all that. It's absolutely amazing to hear what happened there. The stories involve uh, 400 pounds of rice. They involve uh, rusty saw blades. There's even a story that involves multiple counts of adultery. It was fascinating to hear these unheard behind the scenes stories about the games he worked on. Now, there was a couple of games that he designed that we didn't have time to get to in that episode, but that is very relevant because his work is what we're going to be talking about today, the Warhammer 40k CCG and some art for it. So let me give you a little clip here and Luke will tell you about what piece of art you can actually win from the Warhammer 40k CCG. Before we do though, you need to know something. Unfortunately, for this particular competition, and it will be different in the future, I hope, but for this particular competition... Only US listeners are eligible. Or if you win, you have to be able to provide me with a US-based address for me to send this particular item to. I'm sorry, but that is just the way the international mail is working at the moment. So let's take a look at what Luke has for us to give away. And, and, oh, hey, I, I have a gift for your viewers. Hold on. All right. So after I left, a uh, short story. So after I left uh, uh, FPG, I did a lot of other CCGs. I ended up working on one for Warhammer, uh, Warhammer 40k CCG. So, so for reasons I don't want to go into, uh, I ended up owning a lot of the art from that game. So I don't know how you want to do it, but I'm going to give this painting away 
this original art painting of this card from the 40K CCG to anybody who wants it. And there it is, an amazing hand-painted piece of art for the Warhammer 40K CCG by Rob Hine. On the card, Wave Serpent Yaniri. I am so jealous whoever wins this because if you're a Warhammer fan, imagine that piece in amongst your other figures and in your collection. Or if you're a CCG or trading card game fan, imagine just having this one of one piece of collectible game history to set call your very own. Absolutely amazing. And it even to add to its provenance, it's going to come directly from the collection of the game's designer itself. That would make the hosts of Antiques Roadshow blush. Now, let's talk about how you can actually get this piece of art. It can be yours if you do the following. First, you've got to have a US mailing address for me to send this to if you are going to enter. I unfortunately, because of the complexity of the world, cannot have this sent internationally at the moment. It is something that unfortunately just isn't possible. But in future competitions, I am going to try and do my best to make sure we include everybody who listens on this show, not just those in the US. However, for this very first competition, it's the way it's going to have to be. So what you need to do to actually be eligible is if you're listening on YouTube or if you're listening on a podcatcher, regardless, subscribe to wherever you're listening to this episode. Subscribe to the show and then reach out to me. Now, you're going to find links in the description on how to reach out to me, but you can reach out to me via social media. That's either Twitter or Facebook. Both direct mo- direct messages are open there. Or you can reach out to me via our email address, the booster pack at ccghistory.com. Or simply, you can just leave a comment on the YouTube video. And what I want to know is what your favorite non-Magic, non-Pokemon, non-Yu-Gi-Oh, CCG or TCG is of all time. And just a short, doesn't only has to be one sentence, reason why you love it or a deck you love about it. Just one sentence about why you love it. The other thing I need you to include in that message is just single word, whatever state in the United States you are going to have this sent to. All I need to know is just that you're going to send this to somewhere in the United States. That's all I need to know. So those two things, reach out to me either on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, or the email address, which is going to be linked in the description of this episode right at the top so that you can let me know your favorite non-Magic, non-Yu-Gi-Oh, non-Pokemon, non-Big 3 CCG of all time and why you love playing it. Then I will randomly select a winner through all of that. I will post that on probably social media. And you have until the 23rd of March, which is when our next episode will go up to get this entry in. After that, I will reach out to you on whatever medium you've reached out to me on and let you know that you've won. I cannot wait to see this. Hopefully, if you win it, you'll be able to send me a picture once you receive it of it in your collection or amongst your cards or whatever. I can't wait to give this away. So thank you so much for joining us for this special giveaway and be sure to look out for this new part of the Booster Pack podcast feed and the CCG History YouTube channel. That is the Booster Pack singles where I'll be talking about anything that comes to mind directly to the camera. And if you have any suggestions of things you want to hear about or any feedback, let me know all about it, either in the YouTube comments or across those same platforms that you can reach out to me. All right, until our next episode, which is going to go up on March 23rd, I hope at this stage, I have been Rans. And remember, until next time, keep shuffling.